All right, guys, Matt Kentucky Range Time back with another episode of the 300 Blackout Ballistic Gel Block Test. And today we're looking at the Remington 150 grain AccuTip bullet. Now, this is a, a ballistic tip bullet from Remington. And uh, this is a bullet that I've probably got more experience uh, with and actual field experience uh, than, than a lot of the rest of them that I've been testing. Uh, I've loaded this bullet for the last eight or 10 years. Uh, in several different loadings and uh, I've used it on on deer multiple times and uh, always have got good results with it so uh, let's uh let's turn around here and take a look at the loading and then we'll get into the the gel block test and uh, I think you're going to see that this is uh this is a really nice round so uh let's get turned around here all right so once again uh this is uh, one of those bullets I've I loaded out several years back and, and haven't seen any recently uh, to be able to pick any more up to replace them, so I don't have the box for that. Um, but uh, Remington 150 grain AccuTip. Uh, this load is uh, over Hodgson H110 powder and CCI small rifle number 400 primers. And let's zoom in here and get a good look at this. So. This is, uh, this is the bullet, and this is actually two different loadings that I have for this. The, the one in the brass case is the one that I was actually shooting in the gel block. Uh, those are uh, just a, a converted 223 uh, LC brass that I, I fabricated back when I first got started. The, uh, the darker color in here, the black or the gray color, is a, a case from ADI, Australian Defense Industries, that they put out several years back and actually has become kind of a novelty item. It's, uh, it's hard to find these anymore, and I've, I've got several of these, but the, this round was actually uh, a load that was worked up and developed by my daughter for her 300 Blackout uh, pistol that she uses to deer hunt, and she actually, uh, she actually took a, a nice eight point uh, with this round several years back. So uh, anyway, uh, that's the loading, and let's move right on to the gel block. All right, guys, this is going to be the last round for today, and uh, Joe box getting pretty torn up. Uh, should be able to get a couple more in there from, from this end. I've been flipping and spinning them around, so I'm getting, especially these ballistic tips, since I'm expecting them to do most of their, their stuff in the first six or eight inches. Uh, this is the 155 grain Remington Accu tip. This is one that I've loaded as a deer hunting round for several years taken a couple of deer with this. Uh, my daughter and I both have taken deer with this round and uh, it just has, has always performed very well. And uh, let's get the velocity on this. I do have velocity on this previously, um, but not on the Garmin. And uh, curious to see how this thing does in the gel block. So here we go. All right, guys, wound track here at the bottom. We've got some expansion going on here at about three inches. Got lots of pieces and parts coming off. Got the ballistic tip up here in the back, the gold ballistic tip. And uh, looks like this thing opens up and keeps on moving. And right at the 16 inch mark between blocks, it splits and comes out the bottom of the table. So let me, uh, let me do another one of these and see if we can keep it in the block. All right, Remington AccuTip, round two. Uh, we lost the first one out the bottom of the block, actually through the table. And uh, let's see if we can keep this one in the block. All right, 1956. Let's go ahead and put this third one into the backstop to get our three shot average. All right. Now let's go see what we've got. Okay. 
guys, so we got some really nice wound track going to here, opened up by about two inches. Lots of fragments down through here, and the bulk of this bullet carried way down here to the other side. I'll switch over to the other side so we can see that part of it. Here's the view from the top. You can see it opens up here. You got fragments, got some lead, got some copper, and then it's opened up. It moves across this point, comes across center, crosses a couple of wound channels here, and this is actually it right here, guys. Looks like it retained a nice chunk of the 155 grain weight on it. And uh, let's get the ruler up here and see what the penetration was. All right, so penetration is hitting right here at about 26 inches. So, like I said, I, I've got really great performance out of this bullet uh, on deer in the past. Uh, you can see it's carrying the bulk of its weight. Um, it did leave some of its weight back here where it first opened up. Got a little bit of copper and a little bit of lead right in this area. Uh, in this first three or four inches. But once it opened up, it's got a nice wound track, nice sectional cross profile out here, maybe one of the better performing bullets for the lead, jacketed lead bullets that we've seen so far. All right, let me get them dug out. So, all right, guys, so uh, once I tore the gel block apart, got all the bits and pieces out, this is what we came up with. So you can see uh, what's left of the two polymer tips there, the gold color polymer tips. And this fragmentation is out of, actually out of two different bullets. So uh, we did catch one of the bullets, the other one exited out the bottom of the table. And this chunk right here is 135 and a half grains. So starting out with a 150 grain bullet, um, we lost less than 15 grains of weight and got this kind of expansion out of it. So, uh, you know, that ballistic tip was aided help aid the expansion of this bullet, but it didn't actually serve to blow it completely apart like it does in the 125s, uh, the 110 varmint get, and some of the thinner skin varmint rounds. So this is actually a prime uh, prime round for, for deer size and, and possibly even elk size targets uh, with enough velocity and shot placement on it. So, uh, you know, this is, uh, You know, hitting close to an inch expansion, counting that pedal that's hanging out there on the side. But if you don't count that, we're still hitting at least five eighths inch expansion on this. So, so just really great performance out of this bullet. Uh, personally, and even my daughter, uh, we both had extremely good luck uh, with this bullet in the field. And uh, you know, just can't brag on this bullet enough. I, I may actually, after doing this video, I may actually sit down and do a search. Uh, probably through ammo seek and see if I can locate some more of these and maybe bring some more of these in to, to load up. So, uh, so all right guys, there it is. Uh, Remington 150 grain Accutip bullet. And like I said, this has been my go-to deer cartridge, uh, for the last several years, if I'm hunting with 300 blackout. And now there was a couple of spots through the video. I was calling this a 155 grain. Uh, you know, I'm getting a little old sometimes and, and it sets in and catches me at the odd moments, but this is a 150 grain Remington Accutip, not a 155. So, uh, you know, if anybody else is, has actually ran this round, I'll be glad to hear your stories as well. I mean, I've, I've got a, well, I may grab a picture. All right, guys, so this is the European mount that my daughter did with the eight point that she took several years back. And, uh, you know, she she did all the work on this. She boiled this thing down and picked and cleaned on it and, and uh, you know, come back and, and bleached the skull and, and did the sealer and everything on it. Um, and just, uh, you know, can't brag on her enough for the work she put into this. And uh, the rounds, these are the rounds that she loaded up. She actually did test loadings uh, with this 150 grain bullet in her AR-15 uh, pistol, 300 blackout pistol. Uh, different loading because I was running my rounds out of a 16 inch barrel uh, AR-15 carbine. So uh, so she actually worked up her own load, uh, loaded her hunting rounds the night before and went out the next day and, and took this nice uh, this nice buck. So uh, anyway, just wanted to, to throw that in there. So this is, uh, this is uh, some of the uh, actual uh, fruits of, uh, of running this bullet. So okay guys, couldn't, couldn't, uh, 
pass up the opportunity to uh, to show that. She actually was rearranging some stuff in her room the other day and took this off her wall in her bedroom and brought it out here for me to, to store it for her. So it just happened to be sitting over here behind me. But uh, like I was saying, this, this round, I, I can't brag on this bullet enough. Uh, uh, from personal experience and, and just everything else, it's just a really good, solid, uh, medium to larger size game uh, bullet. And, uh, you know, running it, I think 1,900 and some foot per second. The, the ballistics chart's coming up here, but right around 1,900 foot per second and, and getting those kind of results and opening it up like that is just uh, it's just really nice for a 300 blackout load. So, so all right, guys, uh, if you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to hear any, any follow-up comments you guys have got on this bullet and, and any personal experiences you've had with it. As always, if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, if, you, if you'd like, scroll down, hit that share button, and it'll copy and paste a, a link to this video, and you can share that with your friends or on your social media sites if you want as well. And as always, Matt from Kentucky Range Time, and we'll catch you on the next one.